Last time on these RTR Imperium Serectum challenges, we played Paphlagonia, and of course, that went well. And today, we're going to play another contender for the worst and hardest faction in the whole of the mod. Of course, we are playing Acragas, the crab boys stuck on the island of Sicily with no money, no fans, and no army. Compared to the Carthaginians to our west with an elephant-filled army and the Syracusans army to the east full of Chad Lords. Can we survive this truly, truly cursed start, guys? Stay tuned to find out. So here we are as Acragas, guys, our second hard challenge in RIS to see whether it's possible to win some of these factions because, goddamn, they are pretty hard. We found that with Paphlagonia, didn't we, guys? And if you do enjoy this video and we survive 200 likes, and I will do a part two, but we've got to survive first haven't we guys which is pretty difficult the army we start with is okay it's darn sight better than the Paphlagonian army to be honest but it's not a great army nonetheless we are surrounded by Syracuse who start with a pretty darn decent army and Carthage who start with an army with elephants in it at the start of the game first things first though we're gonna go try for a trade rights the with these guys and maybe an alliance and oh they do accept that i'm, I'm, I'm slightly slightly uh slightly surprised by that one 600 gold maybe no they don't want that how about a trade rights with the carthaginians and an alliance as well generous and okay that's okay for now but we will get attacked very soon but that's gonna buy us a little bit of time. I'm going to keep the ship for now in case we need to do a quick getaway. And we are going to go for Enna right at the start. I'm going to leave the one of the Peltafuroi behind as our governor. So let's get straight to Enna. Let's build some of these up. Bring that second general along too. I wonder whether we got mercenaries here. The reason why I'm going for Enna first is because... It is a much worse, uh, sorry, much better better region. Look how much trade is in Enna. Absolutely loads of trade in Enna. And it is, does this have mining? No, there isn't mining here. But yeah, it's got a smaller garrison too. Also, I'm hoping that at Mist uh, Mistratium, Mitistratum, that we can uh, maybe attack an army outside the city rather than in the city now that would be another thing to do is maybe wait a turn and see whether they bring their armies out and then go for a field battle rather than a siege battle but i don't think it's going to make too much difference overall we are going to accept extreme mode unfortunately once again but uh yeah let's see now let's have a look at what we want to build we're going to pop this up to as high as possible which is just high we're still losing 3,000 gold from that. How much would the trader bring us? 43. Wow. Oh, yes. That's what we like to see. It's also... I mean, Prodromoi are probably quite powerful for us as Skirmish Cav, honestly. Uh, so we're going to queue in all of those units there because we need units. That's what we need. That's all we need right now is units over anything else. And I think that is the end of the first turn, guys. So... Let's hope we don't get attacked by Syracuse. In fact, let's uh, stop that for now. Let's get the spy in there and let's see whether they will open the gates. Unfortunately, they won't. That's fine. But anyway, let's end the turn there, guys, and let's see what we can do next. Wow, our diplomat has died already. <laughs> oh, well, that's fantastic because there's no way we're ever going to get another diplomat <laughs> anytime soon anyone at war with us that is interesting to us not at the minute the spy has some extra skill which is definitely going to help us out we lost 7700 gold on that turn and now we've got to attack this army so we're going to have to use our generals pretty much as much as possible before moving straight onto mitistratum um I think at Mitistratum, they may even sally out which would be amazing for us so let's get into this battle though it's very even, 
And yeah, we, we're not really going to be able to beat these Lucanians and Samnites one-on-one -on -one with the troops we have. So we're going to have to use some dirty tactics and try and get our generals into the city to charge them in the back. All that sort of thing. But let's get into this battle, guys. The first battle of this crazy challenge. And let's see what we can do. Zero command for us. Zero command for them. Glorious. So they've pretty much brought their whole army to the front. Which is fine. Um, I don't mind that, actually. If we can trap these guys on this side, we can maybe just go and take the town square and leave them to it. But at the minute, it's a little bit dangerous to try and do that. We're still going to have to break through some Lacanian infantry there. So what I might do, we may do that, in fact, though. We may just engage these guys. And what I'm then going to do is bring my general over this way and see whether we can deal with that. I'm going to bring the uh, the Prodromoi through too. And the archers, I want to bring you in to go there, ideally. And the Thurioforoi, what we'll do is get you into there to fire into the enemy. That'd be fantastic. General, please come. Please come, General. There we go. I do love the Akragas uh, flag with the crabs. Really darn cool. I think it's awesome. Now, beating these Lycanians. Oh, come on, General. Don't be a dickhead. Don't be a dickhead, man. Don't be a dickhead. Come on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's better. Over this way. Looks like we're holding out okay. I mean, I feel like the Lucanian infantry... Okay. I mean, we've got a lot more defense than them. That's the only thing. So, yeah, I think we'll be all right for now. Right, archers, get there. Right, general and you guys, let's go all the way around this way if we can. There we go. And what we're going to do is go and try and charge these Sissel Peltoforoi and just take the town square for now. I'm going to bring you guys through too. Surely you are able now to fire. There's a the companion cavalry. You guys, can you not fire? That would be excellent if you could. Uh, you guys, can you fire in there? That would be good as well. You guys come this way. I could bring the... What the hell's this? The shadows have stayed there. <laughs> oh, well. All right, let's get these guys through this way. And let's see what we can do. As long as these guys stay relatively healthy. There we go. Campanian cavalry is still shaken. Now let's fire at the Lucanians. You guys fight them. I think you're winning, honestly. So, yeah, there we go. They're getting fired at as well. Now we'll fire again. So fire again. One more time. One more time, guys. One more time. No, don't charge. Okay, apparently they go for the charge. That's fine. That's going to waver them anyway. Looks like this unit's getting pushed out of the city. Right, generals. Let's go. I think we go straight for the Sissel Peltoforoi here. I think we should be able to get a relatively good charge off. Oh, here come these guys. That's excellent, actually. Uh, if we could get them off to Town Square, that'd be amazing. So maybe we want these guys to come through this way too. So you guys come that way. There we go. Big charge. Big charge into the Sissels. There we go. Shaken instantly. Not stirred. Let's go. They're steady now though. That's, that's a bit of a problem. So let's just jump out of there for a second. And let's see what we can do over this way. This way we have pretty much surrounded the Lucanians and the Campanians. They've got their general there. So they do still have a lot of troops left. That's the, that's the scary thing here. Um, uh, so what I'm thinking of potentially doing Let's try and get them off the town square You guys get there I don't mind you guys here as well You may get attacked by the Sissels But that's okay Just get in position guys Before you get absolutely savaged They do have more Samnites on the way That's the scary thing here So let's uh, let's see if we can get our general in, that, in this fight too Ideally I want to just block off those Samnites there General's coming back, but well, that's fine. There we go. Let's go with these guys. Let's see if we can fully surround them. Go, go, go. Rally the men. There. We should be able to break them here. Come on, guys. Come on. Break them. Break them. Let's bring you guys there. You guys should be able to fire at them. Come on. Let's break them here. Come on. Concerned about fighting cavalry? We should be absolutely shredding them this way. Right, you guys all the way around there. We've got to be wary of this general, though. So let's uh, pop out of there for a second. We did break them. We did break them. Awesome. That's what we like to see. So you guys get back in there. General, let's bring you back around this way. 
Go, 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 please. Why are you doing this? Just fucking go. There we go. The general was even stuck in that one. Let's get those guys through there. General, keep on going. Just keep going, guys. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just go. Just go. Just get out of there. There we go. We're now fighting the Samnite Hoplites on this side. That's awesome. Right, guys. Guys, stop fucking around. Would you like to hurry up, please? What are they doing? Just stood there doing fuck all. Right, now we kill the general. I think we can do it pretty nicely as well. I think we'll be all right here. Yeah, instantly killed three of them. Good. Is that him dead? Or is that the walls? No, the what's the walls? So, yeah, all we're doing is holding them up here. These guys are in here firing. That's excellent. Guys, what are you fucking doing, honestly? Why you just stood there? <laughs> they are imbeciles, honestly, sometimes when it comes to pathing. Like, can you run? Like, how long have they been stood there? They've been stood there for at least, like, a minute just doing nothing. That is awful, guys. Awful, awful, awful. You are a fucking embarrassment, my friends. Right, let's go. Come on, boys. Come on. Get going, guys. Get going. Like, finally, they're starting to run. Go, go, go. Don't stop. Just run. Just run like the wind, buster. Run like the wind. Let's go. Kill these Cicels. There we go. Broken one of them. Let's kill them all. Make sure they don't escape and get to the town square. There we go. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Very nice. What we like to see, guys. That's what we like to see. Glorious little victory there. What are you guys now doing? What are you doing? I told you to go there, man. Come on. The pathing, man. The pathing. That's what we like to call the pathing. So this is going better than I genuinely expected. So let's go straight. Let's just go straight. Just go straight through them, my friends. You guys need to engage these Sam Knights, and then we'll do a juicy, juicy little charge on them. A juicy little charge. Fire at the Sam Knights. Come on. Get them to uh, turn around would be excellent. The Companion Cavalry still exists over here. Uh, well, I'm thinking, yeah, if we can fire our javelins into them. While we're doing that, we'll kill the Companions. You guys get in the Sam Knights there. There we go. The Sicels are going that way. So we'll go straight in the back of there. We'll engage this Sam Knight. Good. Looking pretty decent right now. Not going to lie. Kill those companions. And then what I want to do is with the Thurio Foroi come over this way. You guys now attack the Sam Knights. And the generals will get you here. They seem obsessed with the generals. I think that's the issue right now. What is that? Yeah, they're the Sam Knights there. I don't care about the Sissel Peltaforoi. You guys... Didn't I actually get you to, like, form up properly? Like, do that. That would be better. <laughs> right. Fight the Sam Knights. And then that's all we've got left to kill now, guys. All we've got left to kill. If we can push them off here, that'd be amazing. There we go. Let's go for the charge. Bang. 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 Push them off the town square. And if we can make them break... Yeah, they're not off the town square yet, though. I feel like... Do we want to keep the general just charging in and out? I think so. I think that's the only option we've got. Why? They just... They all, they become obsessed with the general. I, I don't really get it. Like, just... They just disengage from all their other fights. And do that. Well, let's, uh, let's form up here so we can surround these guys. Because fuck dealing with them. Get back. Get back, you bastard. I'll break your legs. Get back, you bastard. I'll break your legs. Come on. Let's go. Let's... Guys. Oh, we're on slow-mo. I was going to say, why are we going so incredibly slowly right now? And then I kind of just want to get off this town square and let the uh, archers take them out if possible. We've got to try and save as many men as possible here. That's the main thing. You know, we can't afford to lose many men. So keep firing archers, keep firing. If, in fact, if you get a bit further along, I think you'll get a bit of a better angle. Right then, let's uh, let's go. One last hurrah, I think, my friends. Probably one until they break. We've got this unit here, the Cicel Peltaforoi, ready to fight. And yeah, we'll charge in with the generals. I think that's going to be better. 
So let's go. Right, General, into the back there. That's good. Let's kill. Should be a nice little charge. There we go. Fantastic. 163 and we killed 584. Hmm. That was actually a very, very juicy battle. Whether we can replicate those results with the town next to us, I doubt it. But what I think they'll do is they, I think they'll sally out now because our army's so weak. But let's go and find out. So we gain 1,288 denarii from exterminating here. But this has to be a good settlement for us in terms of money. So we are going to enslave. We're going to use that population rather than getting rid of it. Now, can we beat this? We've got three Lucanians, a companion, a general, and three Cicel Peltaforoi. I genuinely think that it's gonna, it'll be very close, but I think we can beat it. Uh, let's also have a look at buildings in Enna. Like, we're not going to recruit from here anytime soon. So let's get rid of all of these. That might bring us to positive income. This should make us have more income as well because it increases the taxes here. So there we go. We are actually positive in income now. I would like to repair that if possible. Is there anything in Acragas worth destroying? Absolutely not right now. No, definitely not. This is our agent. Let's pop into Mitistratham. And he was killed. Oh, well, that's not ideal. That's really not ideal. Who do we leave behind then? If I swap you in there, we've got 11 men. Yeah, leave that 11 men behind. How unhappy is Enna? Oh, incredibly unhappy. Let's go here for the time being, though. I think they're going to sally out. I hope they are, because we have no more ideas after this. What we could do, though, is swap those garrisons over. There we go. And pop you down to that. And you can go back up to normal. I'm going to risk normal for now i think that's a pretty good uh state of affairs we've got no agents left either so we can't even sue for peace if we do get attacked by anyone i'm hoping rome attacks syracuse i know long term that's going to be brutal but in the short term we need syracuse to have someone to attack i mean they can attack the carthaginians ideally you know the carthaginians and syracuse are going to fight each other. Let's also go with our ship. They will use our ship as a spy because we've lost our spy to actually see where that, that army of elephants is. I cannot see it right now. Let's also have a scope around Syracuse then. So let's see. Has Rome come down this way yet? No, they haven't. So we'll come back around the other way to see where that actual Syracusan army is going hopefully they go after masana masana rather than us but that's not a guarantee guys is it that's not a guarantee right let's end the turn and probably have a, a sally out battle and as expected they did sally out now this is going to be pretty darn brutal but we have to win this if we are to win this campaign so let's get into the battle guys Right, let's go. I always forget that this starts straight away when you are playing this. So we're going to come as far forward as we can with these guys. Also going to bring these guys in behind. You guys are going to be there to fire. And the Peltaforoi too on this side. Right, let's, uh, let's come forward here with the general as well. There we go. Right, what is that? Cicel Peltaforoi. We don't need to worry about... F Using our javelins for them. Don't use your javelins on them, guys. We've got bigger fish to fry very soon. So let's bring our general around this side. We've got two Cicels here. So let's just go straight for the attack on them. Let's also turn you off. You guys can fire, though. I don't mind that at all. Right. Now we have uh, people to actually fire at. So let's fire at the Samnites there. What's going on here? Oh, they've they've run away already. They've run away already. Kill them then. You guys, let's get you round this flank here. You guys can fire at them. Right, Thurio Foroy, let's get you out the side for now. You guys, let's come forward and you can actually fire now. That would be awesome. Come on, Thurio Foroy, don't be a mess. Don't be a mess. We've got to get rid of three Lucanians, all that sort of thing. Uh, you guys get there. I want you to fire at the Samnites. You too, fire at the Samnites. And you guys get on fire at will. And their cavalry is coming round the flank as usual. So I don't know what I'm going to do with my cavalry for now. We might want to charge into this block here. 
at this moment in time. We are firing a lot of javelins. There you go. Fire into the Lucanians. You guys get in there, I think, would be the best option. We could just go and try and take the city. That would be the best option for us. It's a bit of a cheesy option, but it is an option nonetheless. Look at that. Broken them straight away. Let's get them. Right then. Let's go through this way then. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get through the gates. Oh my god, they're all breaking. They're all literally breaking. Go, go, go. Go, guys. Go, 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 go. And uh, there comes the cavalry. Turn around. Turn around. I want you to engage them for now. There goes all of their units. Right, everyone get in. Everyone just get inside the city. Everyone that is useful, get inside the city. There we go, guys. Go, go, go. And let's get on the town square. Yes, excellent. Go, guys, go. Come on. I don't care about any of the units here. That's fine. Archers as well. Don't really care. But let's go. Yeah, Prodromoy are taking an absolute, absolute battering here. Absolute battering. Right, let's go with that. You guys need to kill those Sicels. Come on, guys, go! Why do you stop like that all the time? Fucking go! You absolute lunatics. I don't know what they're doing at all. Looks like they can't... No! <laughs> Why?! <laughs> Are you fucking joking me? Just listen for one goddamn second of your life. You absolute lunatics. Guys, kill this fucking two men. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Pisses me off. That's wasted half a minute for us. That has wasted so much time for us. Kill these fuckers. Jesus Christ, man. You guys can, you know, get those guys away. Right, kill this last guy. Come on, kill him. He's on the town. <sighs> Jesus Christ. It's so fucking hard for you to look with your fucking eyes. Jesus, man. Well, anyway, that's fine, though. Now we just need to wait two minutes. Well, apparently we do. Are we even on the... T we're on the town square. I don't see any of their units. What the hell? Where is their unit? I don't see any of their units here. How? What? What is this? What is this? What is this? How are we not able to take the this fucking guy? There's 36 of them. And there's a single guy just stood here. Are you kidding me? That is ridiculous. Well, kill that guy. Can you, like, kill him, please? Kill? Kill, maybe? Kill him? How did he get there? Well, we're going to kill the rest, so we should be able to kill them. I mean, it's still fine. Like, I don't mind any of these guys dying. It's fine. You guys on fire at will. Archers are gone. That's okay. I mean, the, the main bulk of our army is good. There we go. Right, we're all right now. We're all right. Cool. We've, we've had the stress. Uh, so now we just need to block off these areas. And make sure they don't get on. That'd be great. You have to be kidding me. Somehow a single one of the generals managed to escape through here. Oh, and has restarted the timer. Fuck me, bro. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Can you, like, kill him, maybe? Instead of running around like fucking idiots. As usual. Like, luckily they don't have much left. And we're fine. But now we've got to reset the timer again. We were down to 16 seconds when that idiot... I also sent these guys to kill him and they just ran past him. Well done, guys. Well done. Very clever. Very clever. Very impressive work you've, you, you've got going on there. Jesus Christ, man. There we go, guys. Everyone else routed. So fantastic. Glorious victory. We did lose a lot of men there, but that will help with our economic situation. But I think that's even more impressive than last time, to be fair. Glorious victory, guys. Let's take that settlement. And let's see, are we finally making money? Probably not. <laughs> let's again enslave in here. And oh, finally, some money. Some money for the boys. Let's go. Right, let's uh, have a quick look at, at to make sure that Syracuse... So Syracuse isn't going that way. I don't see them on our borders either. Let's have a look. Is that elephant army around here? 
Is that the army? Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, we, we can't beat that. <laughs> we 100% can't beat that. So we're going to keep an eye on those guys for now. Right, let's have a look at what we want to leave behind. We'll leave behind the 17 Pelto Foroy. We'll go into Acragas. And we could cancel these that are a 1,000 and retrain these, which is better. And also get a new uh, guy in there too. Hmm. That needs to go down to low. That also needs to go down to low. There's literally nothing in there at all that we can build. Let's repair that for now. I know it costs us extra money, but that's okay. So, I really don't know what to do next, though. That's that's the real question here. We can't even scam anyone for extra money, either. I think, honestly, the best thing to do is to go for Syracuse. And hope that their army is, is somewhere else. Or, or just is dumb and doesn't really know what to do. We could go through that way to Tindaris. But I don't think Tindaris is very rich. We can't even destroy anything in here to get extra money. Like here... Oh, yeah, a blacksmith. We, we don't need a blacksmith. 100%. No need for a blacksmith there. Let's go for the shrine to Athena, probably. There, just to keep it happy, because we do need to keep that region. Like, a thousand as well. What's that going to get us? It could get us an extra troop. But nothing in here is really worth building right now so while we're here we'll keep an eye on those carthaginians and then we'll have a look at where the syracusan army is so a couple of turns have passed guys and at this point we are just stuck between a rock and a hard place the syracusan army is there which is a pretty darn big army but i think it's a better army to fight than the army of Carthage, because the army of Carthage, of course, has elephants in it, which at this point in time is not something that we want to deal with. So what I'm thinking of doing is coming around this way and going for Tindaris. Now, Tindaris isn't a very rich region, but it has plenty of buildings we can destroy, which we will do to try and get some money. I'm also thinking that if we do this then we can kind of... I don't think the AI is going to be clever enough. I think they're either going to get stuck on the rebels trying to come up this way to fight us, or they're just going to be dumb and just mill around a little bit. Whereas if we attack down here, there's a very clean uh, view for them to attack us. So, yeah, I think that's the play for now. We've managed to get both of these settlements happy. Unfortunately, they have to stay on low for now. Uh, but yeah, we're losing 800 a turn. That's not great, but it's also not amazing. So let's end the turn, though. So Carthage has their army here, which kind of scares me just a little bit. <laughs> so I'm thinking if we have a look around here now, though, their army's still there for Syracuse. We could attack this settlement here, Tower Menion, from the other side, from this side... But what would be better? Do we attack Tindaris or Talmenion? I'm just seeing if, say, Rome has come down here yet. No, Rome really hasn't even come down here at all. I mean, we could go for Masana. And that will save our relationship for now. The reason why I'm thinking not Tindaris is because I would like Syracuse and Carthage to have a border for now. Um, so, yeah, I think we go for Masana instead. Uh, and we may get attacked by a secondary army somewhere, maybe in those trees there. But at the minute, it looks like they've only got two units in that city. And then we can destroy everything. We'll get some money back. And then we'll have a look at training more troops and maybe going after Syracuse. Once we have, say, you know, 11, 12 troops, I'll be pretty confident in beating a lot of armies, just not the elephants. We need javelins to beat the elephants, and we have very few javelins right now. Anything in here of, of note? No. I'm just very worried about Carthage attacking us, but let's see. Let's see what happens, guys. Well, there goes Syracuse attacking us. <sighs> well, that's okay. That should help Carthage in deciding to attack us. Let's take that general, that means that we can actually send this unit. Uh, actually, no, the general is much more valuable. 
We'll take him instead. We'll leave him in Masana for a turn. But yeah, wow. Carthage has broken their alliance with us. Are they allied with Syracuse? Because that is cursed as hell, bro. <laughs> that is so cursed. Right, well, while we're doing Masana, let's have a look at where that army has gone. I think after this turn, that army's gonna gonna leave. And if they do, what we'll do is jump on the ships here and just try and siege down Syracuse. Because Syracuse is a very rich settlement. But for now, let's go after Masana. All they have is a Lucanian and a single guy. So let's get in there. So we've pretty much got them surrounded now, which is very good. I'm hoping we can get the 304 Roy close enough to fire at them, to drag them off the town square. But let's see. Maybe we can run the 304 Roy through. That's the one thing. I mean, honestly, you know, the 304 Roy being there will be fine because they'll get pushed off anyway. Here they go. They're coming for the charge. That's good. And I think we'll beat them quite, quite handily here. They didn't get the best of charges off there. So let's go for that. Oh, they're going for that. So let's uh, let's charge them in the back. There we go. And then we're going to have to try and deal with the other unit. There we go. That's their general dead. Uh, you guys get there if you can. You guys stay here. Stay, stay, stay. Hopefully we can fire at the Lucanians now. Looks like they're going to come off the town square. There we go. Fire at them. So... Let's run these guys into the town square. Let's also get the general here as well to charge into their backs, which will be excellent. If we can push them off the town square, that'd be amazing. So I think we go for a charge with the generals first. Let's rally. There we go. Let's go for one big charge. Let's see how much damage we can do. Bang. Wavering. That's killed quite a lot of them. Good. General's now out. Now, Greek hoplites, let's get and surround them. You guys there as well. And this is just going to be a bit of a grind fest, I think. Ah, they're running back onto the town square now. Because, of course, they have to follow the generals. That's just a rule. Like, they can't fight without fighting, you know, without trying to fight the generals. Wow. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Now it's just a grind fest. Should be able to kill them. See, they're trying to run through to attack the generals there as well. Which is kind of funny. I don't... Really, they seem obsessed with the generals. Uh, and I may be being a bit salty in this video, guys. But, uh, yeah. Just because the stress is very high when we're playing these, these challenges. Because, as you can see, they're pretty darn difficult. They're not easy. They're not easy. But a uh, glorious victory, nonetheless, my friends. Let's get off and let's see what we can do about dirty, dastardly Syracuse. And I think for Masana... Let's exterminate. It is a rebel settlement, so it doesn't really matter. And we're going to destroy everything we can in here to try and get some cash. Because we need cash. We need cash. And, and unfortunately, this is going to, you know, bring down the value a little bit of this settlement. Well, not a little bit. A lot of this settlement. But I don't really care. <laughs> we need troops. Let's use... All of that money that we can to build troops. Is there anything we can afford to build? We can actually afford to build land clearance, which is an extra 60 a turn. So let's go for that. What does it look like? They've got a general in there. They've still got this army here, though. That's the real pain uh, for us right now. And because of you, we can't go anywhere. So let's go for Tower of Menion. Unfortunately, we, we attacked from that angle. I don't know why. Um, and let's see what they have in here. Okay, looks... Yeah, they've got a general and two Cicel 304 Roy that are actually a really good 304 Roy unit. So that's not ideal, but it's okay for now. It's okay for now. Don't care about repairing that, to be honest. It's fine. And yeah, we, we're losing a lot of money because of this, which is not not good. <laughs> but uh, Carthage, can you like fight someone else for a little bit, please? That would be great. <laughs> and another general can join our ranks. Absolutely. Again, we definitely want another general. And we're going to bring him into the fight there. Fantastic. Rioting Masana, but it's okay now. And yeah, we're losing about a thousand a turn now. That's epidemic of a swamp fever. I don't think so. That's not good. Are we losing troops because of that? Uh, who is that? Karelios. So we can kind of game the system a little bit. 
So he's got this uh, epidemic of swamp fever. Unpaid army as well. Although it shouldn't be unpaid because we are positive in terms of money now. Hmm. I don't know. Let's have a look. Yeah. Minus 20% movement, minus 3 morale. So we've got like minus 5 morale for this whole... Oh my god. We got... No. Minus 8 morale. Minus 7 morale for this army right now. God damn. Can you like leave? Like if we go here now this guy he's got minus four morale how do you have so little morale my friend belts tightened okay that's okay i don't know where the other minus two is okay minus one from being green okay we're game gaming the system slightly with this but if you pop in there you'll be able to join the battle still uh, but minus seven morale. That's not sustainable, is it, my friends? I mean, Baileus here is actually a relatively good general. Let's have a look. What is your morale now? Yours is plus one. So what we actually want to do is swap you into there. And then you will be leading the army and will have plus one morale. That's going to make such a large difference. <laughs> I know it seems like it won't, guys, but I promise you... That is 100% something that will make a big difference to us going forward. Um, yeah, and we probably just want to leave Karelios in Tauromenion next turn, even though he's a faction leader. And what I might do is Balius here. I think we might make him the faction heir. Reason being, he's going to be our general. So that will allow him to have the bigger general's bodyguard. And because he's going to be our general and leading troops, we can use Dracon uh, to govern. He's got six management rather than attacking. But what am I talking all this management for? Because <laughs> there's no guarantee we win, guys. There's no guarantee we survive this at all. Uh, so, yeah, let's, let's go. Let's see what we want to do. Uh, and yeah, it's it's just a pretty standard fight. Again, we're just going to try and use our generals as much as possible, guys. So let's see what we can do. So we've only got one ram here, guys. So what we're going to do is do this instead. We're going to pick up this ram again uh, and go for this second attack here. Looks like they're going to charge outside the city. But no, they're probably going to fire again. So hopefully we get to move. There we go. Move out of the way, guys. So we don't lose all our men in their firing, which is good for us. That's good. They didn't manage to fire again. So do remember you can do that. You don't need to abandon your siege equipment when it comes round to it uh, if you don't want to. So we've surrounded that singular Thurio Foroy. So what we're going to do is go for this general's bodyguard now uh, and try and deal with them. We're also going to try and bait this other unit off the town square while we can. And hopefully once we've killed that general, we can probably come back and break these guys. So what I'm going to do is leave this general here for now, just to go for a little charge in a second, once we've taken out this one. So let's have a look. Let's see whether it works. It may not work. We may also lose generals. Ideally, we don't want to lose any generals uh, at all at the minute. Touch wood. <laughs> that may happen, though. But that was a pretty good charge. Managed to take out quite a lot of the Syracusans there. So once he's dead... We'll go after the Sicels and hopefully break them. Oh, but here comes the Thurio 4, right? That's what we like to see, guys. Coming off the town square. There we go. That's incredibly good for us. This unit needs to get going ASAP. There we go. Right, let's get out of there quick before uh, the goddamn uh, guys charge. These guys are, uh, are shaken. Come on, guys. Let's go, 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 go. In fact, no. Attack them. Attack them. Quick. Quick. Just have a little charge before they get back to the town square. Okay. They're on the town square now. Okay. Oh, go. They're going for, they're going for the hoplites. Awesome. Awesome. Go, 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 men. Go. Go. Charge before they get their javelins off. Look, they, they got their javelins off anyway. Apparently, they fired them backwards. I don't know how. They were all facing the other way. But there we go. They fired them backward. What can you do about that? Right. Oh, my God. Singular man left. Did not realize we died that quickly. Rally the men, though. Rally the men. There we go. And get the hell out of dodge, my friend. Get the hell out of dodge. Right. Let's go for another cheeky charge on this Cicel 304 Roy. See, they, they are obsessed with the generals. I, I really don't know why. I mean, I, it makes sense because the generals, of course, are pretty darn good units. But uh, let's come back out. Let's keep doing that. They're probably going to chase us again, though. That's, 
That's the problem here. Let's, in fact, just pop down there for now and see whether they'll follow us along. And then down here, I did not realize you were down to one. I'm so glad we uh, we actually managed to uh, to save that rather than leaving him in the fight. But these guys are nearly done. So pretty darn damaged we are. Let's uh, let's just keep here. Just keep, keep, keep there, keep there, keep there. Away from them for now. And let's if, see if they'll chase us off the town square if we go there. Hmm. I feel like we can probably get them off the town square still. But I want to get them before they do their... Uh, their javelin throws. So let's go for that. Are these guys routing yet? Yes, they are. They're probably fighting to the death, though. There they are. They are fighting to the death. That's fine for us. There we go with the charge again. There we go. It might just be a, a case of grinding these guys down, and I think we'll do that. I don't mind losing a few general's bodyguards in, fa in terms of the cavalry. As long as we don't lose any generals ourselves, that'll be good. There we go. Killed them all now, have we? Fantastic. Did we lose any generals? I don't think we lost any generals. We lost a lot of men, though. But another city we can destroy as much in and then hopefully use that to build up our awful economy and army. So same thing we're going to do here is exterminate Tower of uh, We will repair the wall. We'll destroy the Syracusan recruitment number two. That's going to give us some extra money. Let's destroy the militia barracks. Let's destroy that as well. That's going to bring us a load of cash for now. So what do we want to do here? I think you, Karylaos. Let's just put you in Masana for now. And we'll leave this one undefended. Um, unless we can maybe join together a few troops. I don't know. What do they have in here? They've got some Hoplite, some Thirio 4, and Uzonoi, which Uzonoi is not that good. Um... I'm just worried now that will spark these guys into actual action for the first time. Because they have just been stood there for ages. So, I don't know. But let's use this money wisely. What do we want? I mean, with this, level 2. Oh, we can get Peloponnesians from level 3, though. We can get Thurio Foray from level 2. Zista Foray level 3. Ah, so, level 2 we can get Thurio Foray. I think, honestly, at the minute, the only, like the best thing that we can do is just recruit hoplites. So let's not worry about being able to recruit more right now. We just need another settlement to recruit from. And ideally, that would be Syracuse rather than anything else. So just look how fast the AI can recruit, though, in extreme mode, guys. <laughs> it's pretty darn insane. So let's go for economic buildings. And potentially communal farming is the best there. We're building in there. So let's go for land clearance here as well. And it would be nice. I did destroy all the buildings in there. So I can't really complain about not being able to build anything. A port there, though, would be insanely good. Like, that's going get, to get us 100 gold a turn, guys. Wow. We are rich, guys. We are an absolute rich nation now. <laughs> I mean, dragging all of our troops together, we could have an army of eight, nine, ten units. Is that enough to beat that? Not, probably not, because the Prodromoy would do so much damage. It's pretty much all missile troops. And our army composition is not built to actually deal with missile troops <laughs> at all. So, uh, yeah, well... That's fine. I know it's a bit uh, weird us building a port in here, but that's going to bring us more money. I mean, that extra money boost is more important to us than keeping some of those extra, you know, you, uh, buildings in there for now. But let's uh, let's end the turn, guys. Let's see whether we can take Katana or whether Syracuse will finally put an end to our madness. So our ships have been attacked, so our scouting ship is going to die. That's fine. That allows us to save a little bit of extra cash. And there goes Syracuse retaking that settlement. Really? I actually really don't mind that. I don't think that's too bad, to be honest. As long as that big army stays out of the way, that really doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. And Prayin dies. That's another one that we are going to try. Carthage. <laughs> Two elephants now. Wow. They have just spawned them out of thin air because of extreme mode. That's just really annoying. I think... 
in future we might try this without extreme mode. I think extreme mode just kind of breaks everything <laughs> in terms of the balance. Uh, which is fine when you're playing like Epirus or, or something like that. But playing this campaign... Yeah, extreme mode is, is pretty darn brutal, isn't it, my friends? Pretty darn brutal indeed. So, yeah, let's uh, let's pop these guys up to here. And I hope that they can move into the city. That would be good. <laughs> we could even join them up, merge them with the rest of the troops to give them, and then leave, like, whatever's left in the city. So, yeah, another siege battle, but hopefully one that we can again destroy a load of buildings. Oh, they've only got four buildings in here. It might not be worth destroying anything. But hopefully it will allow us to actually go positive in income once again. And it says it's pretty tight. But uh, I think, again, it's going to be okay. It's just a matter of, you know, engaging them and seeing what we can do. So I decided to edit this one out, guys, because basically we've been doing a lot of sieges, haven't we? And it was a pretty okay victory. We managed to just take the town square, basically, and they got engaged in melee. We lost a lot of men in the fighting, but in the end, a good victory. Again, they actually inflicted more casualties than us, but uh, we've taken another city, guys. So glorious. We shall see you back on the campaign map. And once again, I think it's time to exterminate... Let's destroy that. I think we'll leave the rest of the buildings in there for now. Right, so let's get these guys out here. This unit here is the one that cannot move. So what we're going to do is use it to merge in there. We're going to merge in that one too. We're going to merge in this one. And we're going to merge in that one. And then we're going to leave behind that 40, that 42. Who cannot move? Who is the one that cannot move? Ah, it's because we've merged in the troops, isn't it? Well, we'll leave that unit for here then. And we'll go after Tarmenion. And when we can move that unit next time, we will do. If we get attacked, we'll have to just run away, basically. <laughs> so that's a little bit of an oversight. But that's okay. We've now got 4,000 gold, which is good. So let's queue in another hoplite, definitely. Um, and what do we want here? We need money. Potentially population growth is not too bad of a thing to get in there because it will bring us more money over time. But I'm thinking the best thing we can really do is the shrine to Demeter here because I'm assuming, yeah, 147 gold from that shrine. Oh, we're already building there, so let's, let's ignore that. <laughs> we're not building in here, here though. So let's build the trader. There we go. And we're building there. So that's fantastic. So with the 1,700, let's also queue in another unit to build. And then we'll have an okay army. I mean, there's there's no guarantee, guarantee we're not going to get attacked by Carthage. I mean, that is the main thing for us right now is, is Carthage attacking us will just... That's, that's basically like the Galatians attacking us last time. You know, I don't think we survived that. But if there are mercenaries available too, we could delete some buildings and get some of those as well if we absolutely have to. Um, but yeah, let's carry on. Let's go after Taurmenion as well. And then we'll go after Tindaris. And then I think it's time to really consider what we want to do going forward. Another city is ours, guys. So, glorious little victory there. Let's end the battle. Let's get off this battle map as quick as possible. And hopefully go back for a little bit of retraining before maybe taking on Syracuse itself. Let's see. So, as you can see, guys, Syracuse is sieging down Enna, which, honestly, I don't mind at all. It's going to waste two turns for them. Hopefully, in that time, we can get another unit two more units of hoplites and go straight for Syracuse itself and hopefully take it out. We've got two extra generals here that we can use if we want. I would like to take Tindaris so that we can leave this whole section undefended for now. But yeah, there's not really... I mean, this region isn't really bordering Syracuse. So what I'm going to do is swap those over. This guy can stay here for now unless he gets attacked because he can go and siege down Syracuse next turn. So we've got all of that defended. This area, of course, is not, but 
That's fine for now. In fact, what we'll do is just pop them in there for now, just so that we are defended across all our regions uh, for a little bit. And let's end the turn there, guys. Let's see whether Carthage attacks us or whether Syracuse does as well. Oh, thank the gods, my friends. Thank the glorious gods. Oh, goddamn. We're not quite fast enough, though, to do this draw-out battle. I should have left at least one guy outside the city, I guess. That's uh, oh, that's that's an unfortunate one, a very unfortunate one indeed. Um, they got a random unit there. Let's go though. Let's go and join up here. We've got to just hope right now. I mean, there's a lot of mercenaries available, so hmm, we could have a look at whether we are getting mercenaries available. Nothing in there of interest. We have built a in a few places. And we got 5,000 gold now. Do you know what? We might as well then get some mercenary. So we'll get mercenary hoplites. We could do with more cavalry though. So Tarantine cavalry. What's going to be more useful? I think one unit of Tarantine cavalry is honestly going to be more useful than anything else we can muster right now. Let's also make sure we are continually uh, constructing, not constructing, recruiting there. We've got a port in there now, which... Oh, no, we don't. One more turn and we get a port. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let's build a trader then as well. And, yeah. This army is definitely not big enough to beat this. But it should be big enough to beat whatever this is. So, that's the important thing. And all we've got to do now is hope that they spend all of their time trying to siege down Enna. <laughs> so, let's go. So there goes Enna, unfortunately. We're just going to auto-resolve that. But let's see what Syracuse does here after they've taken Enna. This is really what the whole campaign hinges on here. <sighs> Staying there, that's fantastic for us. So here we go, guys. The battle that might um, form the basis of this whole campaign. It looks like they have the infantry general for them. That's okay. I don't mind that, in fact. But the Syracuse and Cavalry, we're going to have to get rid of that pretty quickly because they're a very strong unit. Um, and the Peloponnesian Hoplites as well. Incredibly strong. So, a couple of things we need to do, but hopefully we can do enough to destroy this whole army and take Syracuse in one swoop. Let's go. So, um, this is not an infantry general, guys. This Syracuse at General's Bodyguard is 53! 53 men! That is insane! How is that even possible? I don't think I've ever seen a General's Bodyguard that big. What the hell? That is ridiculous! What? 53! Are you kidding me? I do not know how... Uh, I, I'm pretty convinced we're going to lose now, but uh, we'll try anyway, guys. So here comes the general and one of the Syracusan hoplites. They seem like they're just trying to try their luck a little bit here. So we're going to try and run around the side. So we're not running quite so far up a hill. But I, yeah, I don't really know what they're doing. It looks like they're going for the javy throw and they just missed the javy throw. That's good for us. So, yeah, we're going to take this nice and slow. If we go fast, I think we lose here. So, I think we've just got to kind of try and take it nicely. Uh, so, we're going to go forward here. And let's see. Can we bait their general into attacking our hoplites? That would be amazing. Uh, so, we'll try and engage the Syracuse and the hoplites there. We'll get, oh, here comes their cavalry. That's awesome. We want them to charge our hoplites. That would be amazing. So let's uh, let's come forward. Let's see if we can engage them. Here we go. Straight in there. Kill the Syracusan cavalry, guys. Should be a pretty darn good little effect for us. There goes their general's bodyguard. So we're just going to go around the side and try and deal with their general's bodyguard as well. Let's rally the men too. Are you guys on fire at will? You are. Get off uh, running away mode. And let's come around the back here. And let's go for one big charge against the general. One of the units is really getting battered here, but we've got to we've got to take our opportunities when they come, guys. So let's go straight in there. Let's see if we can kill this general. That's going to make a big difference to us. There we go. That's one of the generals dead. That's fantastic. And let's uh, let's get straight back out though. Let's get straight back out. 
and go for a second charge against them. Even if we can isolate them, that would be amazing. Remember, they do have Peloponnese and Hoplites in there too, so we've got to be wary of that. Looks like their cavalry is all coming now, so let's see what we can do about that. Uh, 50 men versus our cavalry. I think we lose that. So there we go. Let's go. Where did you go come from? Like, a few of my units just ran out. That's weird, but it's okay. It's okay. We're going to carry on, see what we can do there. There's the Syracuse and General's bodyguard. Let's get in there. We've broken the Syracuse and cavalry. Awesome. So that's good for us. That's good news. That means we can surround this Peloponnese and Hoplite for now and focus on everything else. Group you guys together. Let's get in the Acontisti. They are shaken, not stirred. What are these guys? The Syracuse and Hoplite. Look how good their units are compared to ours. Come on, guys. Let's get that Acontisti and let's get rid of them. Come on. We've got to be faster than them, surely. Let's get rid of them. There we go. Broken them. Let's kill as many as we can right now. You guys turn around. I want you to face that general's bodyguard. There we go. That's going to be brutal, that charge. That's going to be absolutely brutal. But we need to focus on killing them. Let's come out, though. Let's come out. There we go. He did lose a lot of men in there, so we've got to really, really go for him now. Let's go. I think we've got enough men to deal with them, uh, just with these two generals. It might be a bit tough, but it's okay. Let's attack the Peloponnesians still. Good damn. This is, this, is, this is pretty darn brutal. This is pretty darn brutal. I don't mind him doing that, because we can get around him. <gasps> That's my general stuck in there. Get out, get out, my friend. Get out. Good, good, good. Right, now we kill the general. There we go. Let's kill him. He rallied. My general rallied right in front of him. What an idiot, man. He literally rallied in front of their charge. You imbecile. <laughs> kill them, for God's sake. Oh, I can't. I hate how they're allowed to just run run through my men like no consequences at all. Just they, they can just run where they want. It's fine. It's fine. Don't need any consequences. Just run. Just run where you want, guys. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, you know, it really doesn't matter. Right, now we kill them. There's only three of them now. So we've got to kill him if we want to win this. We absolutely do. Right, you guys, let's get you out here if you can. Because I want to surround these Peloponnesians a little bit more. If that guy escapes, there we go. That's their king as well. Good. Right, that is glorious. That's fantastic. We're going to mass our men on this side and try and break these units one at a time. Your guys are going to come round and then hopefully surround these Peloponnesians. Uh, wavering. We need to rally then. Rally. There we go. He's gone back to steady now. So if we can break that unit, that would be amazing. So let's go for that. Let's also go that. He's rallied, so he shouldn't be one of the first ones on the charge, hopefully. He is quite far on the charge, though. <laughs> there we go. Did a, quite a bit of damage. Let's wait for this charge to come in. They're still steady. Shaken now, not stirred. Right, get out, boys, get out. We can't afford to lose our general. That's the that's the main problem here. Right, charge them now. Charge them now. Again, they are going after the general rather than anything else. So I told you this would be brutal, my friends. You guys just can charge because you don't have a general anymore. That's fine. We'll charge with these guys. And this guy, we're going to keep him safe. I don't think those five men are going to make that much difference. So I'd rather, you know, keep them safe. And while they're doing that, that should be a pretty darn brutal charge there. Right, one more. Let's go. I think one more. And potentially... <gasps> no, they broke the men. They broke the men. How did they do that, man? They did a fucking javelin throw again in the middle of combat. For God's sake, man. Get out, get out before they throw javelins again. Go, 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 go. Go, men, go. There we go. Oh, he ma did manage to bloody catch up with him. God damn, how? <laughs> They are bloody javelin throwers, apparently. Right, well, let's uh, let's leave the Syracuse and Hoplites over there. Can we rally these guys, though? Can we rally them? Can we bring them back from routing? Looks unlikely. So we're going to go for the charge here. You guys are going to just chill over this way. Go, 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 guys. Go out of their way, out of their way. Hoping you guys would come back from routing. Apparently not. So we're still nowhere near out of the... Uh, uh, unfortunate uh, thing here. Unfortunately, uh, we need to break these guys, though. This is it. This is it. Not the charge. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's it, boys. That's it. That's what we're, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about, my friends. That's what we like to see. Get out of the way. Don't let them fight to the death, for God's sake. 
Uh, don't let them fight to the death. Get over here. Get over here. Let them rout. Let them rout. And then what we have is two units left. These two units left. Are they withdrawing? No, they're not. They're going after this unit. That's fine. Uh, are these guys still fighting to the death? No. Well, what we'll do is we'll send our actual general after them. Come on, guys. Come on. I know you're tired. I know you're tired, guys. But uh, there's not much else we can do here. Come on. Let them rout. Let them rout. Let our general chase them down. Come on. Right, we'll go for one charge in here. Try, try and back this unit up before it breaks. So let's go for a big charge. There we go. Nice. Shaken, shaken, shaken. Wavering. One charge. Come on. One charge. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Come on. No, no. Yes, come on. Brutal, brutal fight, my friends. But uh, worth it in the end, wasn't it? Right, we'll chase them down. We'll send you up to chase these guys down. And hopefully we've done enough to take the whole city, but we shall see. Gods be praised indeed, my friends. Glorious victory. Syracuse is now ours, so that should mean that they should not be able to recruit many more troops. Fantastic. And there we have it. Syracuse is ours. Do we enslave? I think we exterminate here. I know the money is so, so nice and tempting. But yeah, I think we exterminate. Let's destroy this as well. That's going to give us a load more extra cash. And apparently we can retrain everyone, probably because we've got a blacksmith here. But what a great city as well. And I'm going to leave, because we've got so much cash, we're going to leave that for now. We can also get Syracuse and Hoplites here, who are better, I believe, than the Greek. 1410. 1410, but they have the Javis. So, yeah, let's uh, let's pop that in straight away. Let's have a look at what else we could do here. Um, again, yeah, we need to keep recruiting. This is the problem now. If they go for Akragas, we're a little bit screwed, aren't we? So, can we get all the way back with this unit? No, we can't. What do they have in there, though? I feel like, I feel like we can beat that. So I feel like it's the best thing to do is to just go straight onto Leon T Tinoy. Just to stop them recruiting anymore. Because they've got then only three regions where they can recruit. And Enna, of course, can't recruit because they don't have any recruitment buildings there. So, yeah, let's go to Leon Tinoy. Takes two turns to get uh, a ram anyway. So let's queue in one of you. Does that mean it's one turn? No, still two turns. So we need to get maybe... Let's just get them all. Or at least as many as we can do for now. Is that happy in Syracuse still? They are. Glorious. Can we even go up? Not quite, but not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all, my friends. Of course, one of our guys did die, which is never good. Masana got a port now as well. And now we're making 2,800 a turn. I guess this guy's management was enough to... Uh, make it go up to 4,000, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we've got two generals in here doing nothing that I would like to use as well. Can we go normal here? We can do so. What's the point of being on low? 3,000 a turn, guys. That's good. Obviously, we lost a load of money there because we got the, the mercenaries. So yeah, I think the plan now is to go Leon Tenoy, uh, Camarina, and potentially Tindaris over here too. And just you know, leave that big army to kind of mess around or do whatever they want to do and, you know, rely on getting this in Syracuse in five turns. I think that's the option here. So let's end the turn there, guys, and let's see what we can do. Well, God damn, that was insanely brutal. That was horrendous. We lost our general as well, unfortunately, but we do still have more generals, but God damn. Damn, that was horrible, horrible, horrible. Basically, they got their 304 I stuck on the town square and would not leave the town square, so we had to try and take them out. But one unit of 304 oi of Sissel 304 oi managed to probably... Let's have a look, actually. Look at that, 209 kills with 118 starting men when uh, we had, like, four units of Greek hoplites and the mercenary hoplites all there fighting it. Jesus, very hard. It's pretty brutal, guys, isn't it? So let's uh, enslave this one instead. Let's also destroy that building there. I 
could do destroy the military buildings in here too. In fact, we should definitely repair that so they can't take that in one turn. The one thing that does scare me is I have no idea where that big army has gone. So I think we'll wait until next turn. We'll leave those mercenary hoplites in there. What we're going to do is pop out so that we have enough movement to go back there in one turn next time. And hopefully they're not going to attack us, but that could definitely be something that happens. This guy is now our faction heir, unfortunately, but that's fine. Okay, we can actually put the tax rate up in a lot of these places. Let's do that now. How high? Yeah, you can't go any higher. You can't either. How about over here? We can definitely go up at least one there and normal in there too. Are we recruiting anymore? No, we're not. Let's keep on going then. And yeah, we're building as much as we really can right now. I want to get the port in there, so we'll wait till next turn. We're building a port there, building in there. What about over here? Are we building anything? No, and we've got not enough money. I think we go for the Shrine to Demeter here because, again, 64 gold is not too bad. We are getting sieged down by their goddamn uh, ships, which is very annoying. But apart from that, we're okay. We're not doing well, guys, but we're okay. So uh, let's end the turn. Let's see where we get to. Here we go, guys. Another couple of turns have passed. They have taken uh, Taro Menio, unfortunately. They've sieged down both of these, so a good move from the AI. I've got one of my generals just sieging down Enna, probably just to, uh, you know, chill there. And I don't actually know what's in Enna, so we may not be able to actually win that, but we can at least stop them recruiting if we do that. So for now, let's go into this battle here, and I will do this one because we've not had one for a little while, so let's go. Here we go, guys. Let's get those gates down. And do remember, guys, if you want to see a part two of this video, 200 likes, and we will do a part two. So uh, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you are enjoying this little series. Well, here come the Peloponnesian hoplites, and we've seen how good these guys are. They're actually insanely good. They've taken a bit of damage from our javelins, but I'm going to leave my javelins for now. Ideally, I want to get my javelins in there to pull this Cicel Thurioforoi off the uh, square. So we're going to charge them and hopefully hold them there as well. We're going to bring these guys round two, and let's see if we can... Uh, get that Syracusan general's bodyguard and kill them as well. We've lost a lot of generals recently, so going to be a little bit more careful with the boys this time, but uh, we shall see. We shall see, guys. Here we go. The Cicel Thurioforoi are engaged in fighting with us. We are fully surrounding the Peloponnesians too. They don't die very quickly, though. That's the only thing. So what I'm going to try and do is hold everyone here for now. We're going to try and hold them, guys, and we're just going to try and take the town square. I know it's cheesy, but uh, that's the best thing, I think, for us to do in reality is just to try and hold that town square for as long as possible um, and maybe use that one of our other cavalry units uh, to deal with them as well. So, we'll get you guys can go on there and you guys can get here. These guys are here now. Can you guys get there maybe would be good to fire? And you should be able to fire there as well. So now just we need to wait 2 minutes 50 and let's see whether we can do that. So we've got the Cicel Thurio 4 a pretty much surrounded now. We lost a lot of men fighting them. Uh, over here against the Peloponnesians, we've actually not lost as many men as I expected. Probably because they are fully surrounded. But all we've got to do now is wait another minute and hope that they do not make it back to the town square. They may route. Ideally, I would like them not to route just so that we can hold them. 20 more seconds, guys. And there we go. Victory is ours. Fantastic. I am so happy with that. Another city is ours. So I think Syracuse now only has two. They still have that massive army, which we do need to be worried about. But apart from that, I think we're, we're okay. We, we might survive this. So now we've taken Camarina. Let's go and relieve the siege of Syracuse. Let's destroy both of these armies as quickly as possible. And it's two turns until we can retrain in Syracuse. So we might go back to Akragas for retraining. But I don't think these armies are going to be very difficult to beat. There we go. Look at that. Cicel Thurio Foroi, some slingers. And their faction... Is that their faction leader? I wonder... No, they do have a faction heir there. 
They don't have a, uh, a faction guy in Enna or in here. So I guess they've only got one guy left after this. So we could potentially regicide them if we want to. I mean, I don't want to leave that massive army laying around. That's the only thing. But uh, <laughs> let's have a go at these guys. Well, here we go, guys. Let's get straight into the action. We're going to get these, pull these guys off to the side. We're going to pull these two guys off to the side. And we're just going to go straight in for the charge with the rest of them. We can get that guy there as well. And we're going to bring our generals around the left-hand flank. Because that is where their general is situated right now. So let's try and get them all engaged in melee. There we go. Let's go and fully surround these units here. That would be awesome. What is their general doing, man? They seem to be going a bit mental. But come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's make sure we can fire. Again, they've just done the stupid being able to fire while they are engaged <laughs> trick, which is just really annoying, but okay. Right, well, let's uh, charge that general's bodyguard anyway, and we will surround everyone else. Wow, they're firing some jabbies at them. Very nice. That should absolutely savage them. One more volley. That might do a bit of friendly fire, but I don't think it'd be too bad. There goes their general. We've got to kill him, though. I don't want him to survive. Absolutely not. Where is this unit? You guys go after them. Because you should be faster than them. Let's see. Can we catch him? Most likely not, unfortunately. So I don't think he's going to survive. Uh, he's going to survive, sorry. But that's the only unit that's going to survive. So again, I don't really mind that at all. And now it's just a big grind fest of killing these to sell Thurio Foroi. But we've seen how good they can be in the past. There we go, guys. A nice heroic victory. We surrounded this to sell Thurio Foroi. And they had nothing left, my friends. Nothing left. So let's go. That was a glorious victory. That means Alkaos gets a captured flag. Let's have a look at Alkaos, actually, because we lost our good general. He's got one morale, so that's good. He's not got negative morale. That's very good. He's hardened now as well, which is extra valor. He's an oligarch factionaire, and he has the enemy treasury too. So let's go and attack this unit. What is that unit? Oh, it's simply a Cicel Peltaforoi. So uh, let's auto resolve that 30 and 30 that seems a bit silly i'm not gonna lie um but i think we go with xenocratis here and let's go for enna next turn and then all they have left is two two areas which yeah we just need a few more troops don't we we just need a couple of extra troops really uh to really see this out they could be mercenary troops if there are some good mercenaries available but i'm not so sure on that ideally what i want to do is trying to you know trick them and take tindaris and then take uh and then they go and siege something else down and i beat them in a siege race that would be the ideal but uh whether that happens or not i have no idea so enna has been taken back now guys Rome is here, which is a little bit scary, I'm not going to lie. Um, we need to deal with Syracuse first before we even think about Rome. But what we're going to do, these guys do not have a ram yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to come around this way and go for the siege from this side so that these guys in here, we can't actually press on them, can't get to us or it takes them a long time to do that. Um, and then we're going to attack Tindaris, take that. Take that out next turn and then hopefully come back to either Syracuse or Akragas for retraining. Whether we can do that in time, I don't know. But we've got to take high risk plays right now, guys, haven't we? High risk, high reward. That's the next settlement under our control. I don't know whether we're going to be able to do the gambit of taking out the Syracusans before they take the ne our next settlement. But we shall try, guys. We shall try. So we've destroyed all the military buildings in here again. They do have a single ram in this army, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, we can't go that way. Let's go around this way. There we go. And let's join this one. And then we've got... We need one more turn until we have a ram. That's the problem we have here. Um, because I think they're going to attack. They may not attack. They may even, you know... Uh, leave because it's their last settlement. But we've got a little bit of extra cash now, so let's make sure we are training in Syracuse. I think we're going to get some of those Syracuse and Hoplites because they're pretty darn good. We are training down here. Let's see. How much is that? 6,500. I mean, 
if we, yeah, we still want to be training them then. Is there anything else that we can build here that will be good? I mean, probably the Shrine to Demeter. That's always been good around our lands, hasn't it? Uh, what about here? Yeah, not a good recruitment hub here. Leontinoi might be the next one. So then we'll have three areas where we can recruit from. So that'll be fantastic. We're going to get a uh, port in Katana soon as well. So that's going to be even more money. The real sort of limiting factor for us now is just training troops. Like money is okay. Like we have a decent enough army. Not a good army, but an okay army. Um, it's just being able to train as many troops as we want to. So hmm, let's see what Syracuse does here. Let's see, guys. So they did attack, which is not ideal, but I will try and fight this. And I will try to use the old tactic of our faction leader attacking them. But uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Right, let's have a go. It looks like they've got the Peloponnesians in the back, which is great for us because that means they're not going to be firing javelins at us as we attack this ram. So we're going to do a little bit of a cheeky charge on it. Just to stop it, we'll run away straight away after that. So they're going to drop it now. And then we're going to run. We're going to run, 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 run. Run away, my friends. Run away. Now, that should stop them. What I ideally want them to do is to uh, be fighting for that wall so they get attacked by that tower and we can destroy the ram. Let's go again then. Let's keep going. One more attack. There we go. And we're just going to rinse and repeat this over and over again just to see what they do. They might try and come and attack us. Apparently, they can reach that far. That seems like an obscene Uh, long distance. Let's uh, run away from them again. I don't want to have to fight them. So there we go. We'll, dr we'll drag them around the city if they want to. Looks like they, uh, the hoplites are going to uh, take up the ram. That's no problem. Are we going to take another javelin? Looks like not. That's good. That's good for us. Right, let's get into those guys. Don't think the tower is going to be able to attack the ram. But no, we, we, we ran away. Oh, was not expecting him to run so quickly there. Uh, but we did try, and I don't think we would have succeeded anyway. But at least now we know they have one settlement left after our next battle. That should be good. So that's our faction leader dying, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, we'll have some new faction leaders. We've also got another candidate for adoption. We've just got to take everyone we can right now. Do we want them in Acragas? They've got zero, zero, zero. Really? Really? What's the stats? We're going to get some extra lore. And minus five taxes. Oh, well. Well, we'll leave them in there. Ideally, I want someone governing Syracuse who is good at governing. Uh, faction leader killed, of course. New faction leader is our guy who we adopted. We I don't think we've got anyone left on our family tree. Though it's part of our original family <laughs> at this point. But that's a little bit unfortunate. But oh, well. Let's keep on training in here. We are training in Acragas. Two, uh, sorry, Syracuse two. Let's uh, just auto resolve that. 30 men, not a problem at all. Let's enslave Tauromenion. Let's leave Tauromenion and let's leave behind 26 men. And let's go for the gambit, guys. Rome is just chilling around here. I don't know what they're doing. I'm hoping they think that they need to take out Regium first, but. Yeah, that's, that's it's a more of a hope than anything. So I think we need to go for the gambit here rather than anything else and try. I know we're right next to this army, which is not good, but we've got to try and take them out before they take us out. Look, they haven't built any rams yet, so that's okay. But yeah, it's it's not ideal. Do you know what I'll also do is pop you guys in there just for now, and that will also oh maybe not quite get up to normal. Where are we not building? Are we building in uh, there we are? So let's see. Where are our richest settlements? Probably Camarina is by far the richest out of all the ones that are not building. Uh, in fact, it's the richest in general, uh, which is pretty crazy, in fact. I don't know why. So let's go for that shrine to Demeter. Let's also get a shrine to Demeter in there. Uh, let's repair that wall and build a communal farming, potentially. But I'd prefer a communal farming somewhere else that's a bit safer, like Enna, for example. So let's see what Syracuse does. If they leave us alone this turn, we win, guys, against Syracuse. So let's see. 
Oh, happy days! Yes! They didn't come and attack us! The idiots! The absolute fools! What imbeciles! That is absolutely glorious. How can they be that dumb? It is the AI though, isn't it? So that's how that's how they can be that dumb. I think in this army as well, because we are going to be fighting elephants in part two, if we do get 200 likes, I'm going to start recruiting some archers because we need archers to take out those two units of elephants. So our final battle against Syracuse, probably guys, it's saying it's pretty much equal, which is... Uh, not great, but, uh, you know, let's see what we can do here, guys. So, the walls are down and taken. So, the thing we're going to do is the same as usual. We're going to try and trap them off the town square. Let's see whether we can do that. That would be excellent. These guys are pretty much useless at this point. We're going to try and use our generals as much as possible as well. Got those guys in the fight too. I'm going to try and use the Peltas around here to drag them off the town square and then surround them. That's going to be the ideal plan. So let's go after those Peloponnesians here. Let's also, you know, speed this up slightly. We don't need it to take so long. Um, these guys, they're going to lose, but hopefully they just stay fighting for a very long time. I'm going to go with my generals and just charge their general. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. You guys, if you can, like slip past these guys that'd be amazing so let's go let's go try and get past them guys get here get here maybe like that there we go good charge on their general there very nice that's what we like to see now we're going to try and slip past let's go 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 keep coming guys keep coming keep coming and then we're going to charge them in the back very nice these guys are just going to have to hold for the time being hopefully we can kill this general's bodyguard quite easily how are these guys doing? 63 of them. Let's keep going. Let's kill the king as well. Kill the king once again. Very nice. And uh, general-wise, let's get our general back this way. Hmm. Because what they're going to do is they're going to run around that way. So, I, honestly, yeah. Ideally, we want our general to come up this way. We could even go for a charge on that those Sicels there too. Um, but, yeah. That's good. We'll get you around here. Go up there, guys. That'll be great. And you two, we're going to use you, obviously, later down the line. So let's speed this up. Here they come, guys. Here they come. They've actually tried to trap us out. That's amazing. So what we're going to do is run our guys all the way up here and just try and block them from ever coming near us again. In fact, I might even just try and catch them as well. So once this unit's dead, we should be good. But it's going to take a little while because, of course, we've seen how strong they are, in fact. The Peltas are going to take an absolute battering here, but... That's fine. One of you, in fact, needs to get out so that we can fire into them. That'd be amazing. So let's speed this up. Guys, did I say engage them in combat or did I say get out? Oh, your pathing is so bad, man. Just go there. <laughs> God damn. Oh, my God. What are they? Why, why do they think they need to go, like, up there to get there? Just look at that. Look at that. They can't go there. Come on, man. <laughs> Apparently, they can't go there. That's so weird. Look at them. Oh, my God. Just fire, for God's sake, then. Just fire. Right, we're going to get on the town square, then, and let's see if we can wait them out. That would be amazing. Right, guys, now you should be able to fire. There we go. This is better. Let's go, boys. Oh, here comes the secondary unit. Nope, fire at them, then. Fire at the Cicels. Don't run. We don't need to run. Ah, that's why. Sorry, I didn't realize we were still on that. Fire, fire. We've got 1 minute 40 to go. That's all we need to do to hold them. 1.30. Let's go. Now, you guys get in here. Kill them. Let's go. Let's go. 50 seconds, guys. Let's go. Go all the way. Right. Just run that way. That's the only way we're going to be able to get you around. So, run. Kill them now. They should be engaged and shouldn't want to come out. Fantastic. Glorious, guys. Syracuse is dead. Yes. After three hours. Three hours. Syracuse is dead. And I think we enslave Masana just to keep them unhappy. And that, oh, keep them happy. And that is a message that I've been waiting for for three hours, guys. <laughs> That's amazing. How many turns? Are we only on turn 20? That's unreal. Turn 20, we've taken out Syracuse. I did not think we would do it that quickly. God damn. Now we've got to worry about the Romans, but... Uh, <laughs> 
I think that's a, a problem for another day. I'm not going to lie. Right, you guys join together. Can we leave Masana just with these mercenary geek peltas? Yes, just about. Just about. We're going to come all the way back to Syracuse. And we're going to get as much retraining as we can afford right now. Uh, put that after. And glorious, guys. I think we can call that successful. How many regions do we have now? We now control 10 regions. We're stable. We're making money. And we have at least two recruitment hubs with another one on the way. So even if we lose Acragas at this point, we're not dead. So that is glorious. We do have Carthage to our west, which is not good. <laughs> but god damn, that is amazing, guys. So Acragas, definitely nearly impossible, but not quite as impossible as Paphlagonia. Of course, we have been playing on very hard very hard the whole time with extreme mode as well oh what a challenge guys and like i say guys if you do want to see a part two where we will are going to take out carthage on sicily and maybe try and turtle and build up a bit of a uh, economic powerhouse on sicily then do get us to 200 likes make sure you smash that like button and we'll do a part two otherwise we will leave it there and leave it off there so thank you for watching guys it's been a pleasure as always and i will see you all again on probably a less cursed video next time but we will see you all again there